Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hola. So, today I'm going to be creating this makeup look here. We're just going to sit down, we're going to play with makeup, talk about makeup. I just kind of want my channel to be a wee bit of a positive place for you guys to come to as like an escape, I suppose, and just spend some time with me and play with makeup and talk about makeup and whatever. But anyway, if you want to know how I got this full drugstore makeup trail, then just keep watching. Um... Yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing today. I want to play with some colour. I think we all need a bit of colour in our lives right now. I feel a wee bit guilty sitting here and playing with makeup and putting on makeup, but I know that some of you guys are in isolation at the minute. Quarant quarantine? Quarantine? Yeah, that. And yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to just sit down and entertain you guys, have a wee bit of a chat. So we're just going to be doing a wee bit of a play with makeup. So first off, I'm just going to start with my skin because I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing on the eyes. I know, as I was saying, I want to I want to play with colour, but I'm going to be trying this product here. And this is from Makeup Revolution. It's from their new, like, glass collection. So this is the Glass Liquid Skin Eliminating Skin Primer. It's just like a wee glass bottle and it has like a wee dropper. Not to start this video off to be negative, but Makeup Revolution has kind of got themselves in a wee bit of a pickle recently. <laughs> Hey guys, Edit and Emma just checking in. So I'm editing this video at the minute and I've noticed that I'm only like literally a couple of minutes in and would you look at that, I'm being negative. And the whole point of this video is for it to be a positive, yeah, like a nice positive video and I'm being so negative. So I just wanted to let you know that yes, I am going to be going on a bit of a rant here. Even though I'm giving Make It Revolution absolute death, let's have a wee count to see how many products I actually use from Make It Revolution in this video. I do apologise, but I am going to be negative about it. I think it's about time. Um, if you don't know, basically, um, this entire collection that Makeup Revolution has came out with, they literally stole Manny M.E.A.'s complete and entire idea around his highlighters and they created their own highlighters and that's where they got the idea from. There's a fine line between duping products and literally stealing stealing absolutely everything from a higher-end brand. Like, I love Makeup Revolution, um, I fully support them, but I just do not agree with some of their actions that they take. So I'm actually really excited to try this though because whenever I see the pictures of them launching these products, this looks really, really nice. Oh, Ooh, that smells so good. I wonder how they stole that scent off. <laughs> And I know like everybody's gonna have a different opinions on this, but I really do think that it needed to happen. Like it really needed to happen. Like Makeup Revolution is just such a brand that just copies everybody. And I know they come out with like their own different unique products and it's a shame that whenever they actually do that, I applaud them. And that shouldn't be the case. Like every brand should be different and come out with their own ideas and be different and unique in their own wee ways. Makeup Revelation is just one of those brands that, yeah, they literally just jip everybody. But as we're saying, there's a fine line between jipping brands and literally stealing their entire concept on a product and their entire idea right down to the fastener <laughs> of the actual compacts. It, mm, you can't keep doing this to other brands. These brands are putting in so much dedication and time and everything with their design teams. Just everybody is putting in so much effort into creating a certain product and then you have Makeup Revolution's team, they must just sit with the re-note pads on Trend Mood's Instagram page, taking down notes of products that they can copy. And like I get it, not everybody can afford like high-end products. So it's nice to obviously have jips. Jipping a product, yes, but making it your own. Whereas Makeup Revolution jips a product right down to the very tea. <laughs> On other news, I actually really like that wee primer. It has literally made my skin look like glass. It's made my skin just look very, very shiny. But it's not like sticky or oily. It has completely dried down, but it has stayed really, really shiny. Like you can definitely see it on my cheeks. That's actually really, really cool. I'll definitely try this in another video as well and talk a wee bit more about it than talking shit about them. <laughs> I'm gonna use the soap brows on my ColourPop brow gel. Oh, and for my foundation, I'm using 
the Maybelline Super Spray. Another product by Makeup Revolution. This is actually their new concealer and it's the Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. I'm actually not too sure if I would say that this concealer is more full coverage than the original Conceal and Define, but because I have used this a few times now, like off camera to actually see what it was like, but I don't know, like I don't really notice the difference. I must actually do like a comparison sometime, like the Conceal and Define and then the this one on the other side just to actually see but I honestly haven't and didn't notice a difference. I would say that maybe the consistency of the concealer is a wee bit thicker so then it's maybe like tricking your mind into thinking that it's a wee bit more full coverage but once you blend it out they're just I would say the same amount of coverage but do let me know like have any of you guys tried this concealer like would you think it's more full coverage? Um, because I don't. <laughs> Another product from Makeup Revolution. <laughs> so guys, me and Kyle are not for Vegas anymore. Hmm. Do keep in mind that we were intent on going to Vegas in August, so that's literally like four or five months time. Because of this whole virus thing, we're, yeah, we're, we're just not going anymore. We're just gonna play it safe and just cancel the holiday. We'll get our money back, everything will be sorted, and Vegas will always be there, <laughs> you know what I mean? We can always like rebook it, reschedule it, whatever. I don't know, like I'm just, I'm not wanting to risk it guys, you know what I mean? Like it's not yourself you have to think about, but it's other people. We could have something and not have any symptoms, go to Dublin airport, spread it, you know, go to Vegas airport, spread it, you know, like, we, you know, think of where we will all be. It's all very well and fair saying that you don't want to catch it, but you also don't want to spread it and that's what I'm worrying about come August like I don't know what America is going to be like I don't know what here is going to be like even if it has settled down by then and we don't cancel the holiday and we still go on to Vegas it will still be in the back of my mind constantly I want my first time in America to be rememberable for the right reasons not the wrong reasons I'm going to go in and back night I've just set lightly with my wee Makeup Revolution powder, but I'm going to be trying the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder again. I did try this in yesterday's video. Apparently, like I seen it like whenever I was swatched it on my hand, that it has like a wee bit of like a sheen to it. It's actually very very nice, but whenever it was on my face, I didn't notice much. But I'm going to try it again just to see. I really like that powder. I actually made my foundation and my face look absolutely flawless. That is set so well. Oh no. Oh no. I think I might have just found another favourite powder. Okay my lovelies. So moving on, I'm going to highlight quickly with the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. Yeah, just this one here. I'm going to use this with my fan brush just as usual. Just to dust that all over. I'm just going to apply a bit of blush now and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush, just this new one here. I have had this blush for so long now and I don't know how many times I've used it and it is such a beautiful, beautiful blush um, and I honestly have no idea how many times I've used it and I have barely even like took the print off. But you can see that obviously. Never mind, hip pan. And then Milani Big Bronzer in Dulce. Dulce. I never know. <laughs> Is it just me or do I look hella orange? Okay, so I'm just going to start on the eyes now. So I'm going to be using my MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot. I'm just going to be applying this just all over the lid. Oh, you can see all my makeup sitting from yesterday that I haven't cleaned away yet. So, I'm going to be playing with this big bitch. <laughs> As I promised, I'm going to be digging into some colour. What shall we do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking kind of like sunset colours and maybe a pop of purple somewhere. Okay, so I think I might go on with this colour here first of all, just cherry soda. I'm going to be using this cherry soda shade. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do though. Um, okay, so I'm just going to pop this just in the crease. I'm going to be taking this on a buff and blend like pencil-ish brush. You know the way whenever you're packing on a colour and you can kind of tell that once you start to blend it it's just going to poof away to nothing. I'm getting that feeling. 
And then back into the palette again, I'm going to be taking this orange shade here. So I'm just going to start in the inner corner. I'm just going to be using this orange shade to blend out that other shade. Then I'm going to take the yellow from the palette. Back into the palette again. I'm going to take Psycho, this shade here. And I'm just going to be packing that just on the outer corner. And I'm just going to also blend that into the crease. I'm just going to be going back into the paint pot again. I'm just going to roughly cut the crease. So I'm going to be going in with the Mitchell palette from Beauty Bay. I'm going to take in the purple from it. And I'm just going to apply this just at that outer corner. So I'm also just going to be dragging it in just halfway. I'm also going to take this purple here and I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner. I really do apologise that I'm not even doing that much talking but I have honestly no idea what I'm going to be doing now so I feel like I'm in my head a wee bit so I'm now going to be taking a gel liner and this is the Mellow Cosmetics gel liner and I'm also going to be taking the Wet n Wild Mega liner so I'm going to be using the Mega liner first of all from Wet n Wild just to map out my shape. And then I'm going to go on with a pencil brush and I'm just going to take some of the excess gel liner that's already on the lid. I'm not going to go into the pot. Just to cut the brush a wee bit and I'm now just going to smudge out that liner just in the outer corner. Not using any blending motions, but I'm just going in and I'm just patting. So do keep in mind that gel liner does eventually dry down, so you're kind of wanting to work a wee bit quick, I suppose. Okay, so I think my gel liner has dried down. Bollocks. Okay, not an issue, not at all. So I'm now going to go in with a black shadow. I'm just going to pat it on first of all. Now I'm just going to be blending the black into the purple. I'm just going to grab this big palette again. I'm going to take ugh, Mulberry, this shade here. I'm just going to use this Mulberry shade just to slightly blend out that black. I just went into, oh goodness, this shade here, Mulberry. I took that shade on a pencil brush and I just ran that along the lower lash line from the inner to the outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with a purple. So I know for this purple on the lid, I had went in with the Mitchell palette, but just since it's the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the purple from the actual palette I was using. So also just like that other shade, I'm just going to run this just along the lower lash line. I'm just going to get like a big fluffy brush and I can't go into this palette here because like as you can see it hasn't got like a pastel purple type of shade that I'm looking for to blend this colour out. So I'm just going to go into the Mitchell palette and go for this shade here. For my lip combination, I'm going to be using the Primark Lip Pencil and the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo. I have not used these in years. These wee NYX lip creams. Whoa, that's pale. Mm-hmm. Okay, so just to finish everything off, I'm going to give my face just another wee spritz with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Scent Spray. 
this is honestly such a fantastic wee palette. I'm honestly so, so happy that I have this palette. It's literally everything you would ever want and more within a palette. It's mattes, shimmers, they blend together great. The pigment it is, it, it's there. <laughs> Obviously I haven't played with every single colour but I will eventually. Now the true test is going to be working with the blues and the greens other than working with the neutrals and the more like yellow and orange tones but other than that guys thank you so so much for watching but yeah I just really want to wish you guys all the best in this situation that we are in honestly you always have to try and look at the positive side of life I always like that we say and like with every black cloud there is a silver lining bad times don't last forever this will eventually pass I really do think that at the end of this we're all going to really start to appreciate life again and the small things in life and really start to like appreciate our family and friends and on top of all of that or health I also just want to let you guys know that not only am I thinking of my friends and family but I'm also thinking of you guys as well so I really really do hope you all are safe and well anyway guys thank you so 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 much for watching this video don't forget to follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter and also my depot will be listed down below as well thank you all so so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all in my next one